Hi folks, and welcome back to the plot. Today is the day it's coming down. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to see how much of this I can get apart today. I've got plenty of time, so I'm in no rush and I'm, I'm quite safety conscious. This thing is halfway rotten through, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. I haven't bought a ladder and that might be an issue. So I've just had a little look at how this is kind of put together. It is a bit of a mixture in here. Plenty and plenty of screws, but also some bolts. Thankfully, I bought a socket set and all that kind of stuff. But I think the first thing I'm going to need to do is actually try and take the roof off because the roof has been screwed into the frame and it's kind of holding the frame together. I'm not going to be able to get these pieces of frame out without getting the roof off first, which uh, might be easier said than done. Let's give it a go. In places, it's ready to come off completely. Some of the screws have come out and in others, it's still in pretty rigidly. I expect I will be making judicious use of this lump hammer today. This is one of those things that has definitely been built to last. And it does seem a shame to be getting rid of it. I did bring the crowbar. I think it's crowbar time already. Tricky to get purchased because so much of it is rotten. So you <laughs> mend it and nothing happens. There we go. First piece of the shed. It begins. Door is just about bolted on. I remember one of the first things I did on the allotment was kind of repair this door, which was actually from a different shed and add a load of wood to the bottom and that kind of thing. But over time, this whole wall has just lent this way, which means you cannot open the door. Nightmare. This whole piece, look at this. I shouldn't really do that with me stood in the shed, but this wall is definitely beyond saving. There we go. Sunglasses for eye protection. One of the issues that I'm having is the, the roof is all free around the outside, but these two beams are staying strong and the roof does not want to come off. Let's see if I can pry it from inside. No, the issue is in there, the actual, <laughs> these supports are failing and the roof is holding strong and I don't want the supports to fail and for it to collapse on my head. Definitely should have brought a ladder. Oh, the sun. There we go. Okay, first one. <sighs> Progress. I was planning on going roof first, but this entire piece is just flaking. And I don't want it to fall down while I'm working on a different bit. Let's take this door off, get it out of the way. Want that wall to fall on me. I'm just trying to take the door, not the wall. There we go. You'll see I'm doing a lot of kind of hitting stuff and what I'm trying to think about with something like this with the weights is just always how far away I am and the length of things. So if there's something a bit long that looks like it might catch me or scratch me or, or do me harm, that's where I'm kind of whittling it away. Useful crop defense. very kindly came over and said, would you like to use this? <laughs> yes, please. Yes, I would. <laughs> See, it's stubborn. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I 
and be very careful to look for nails and that kind of thing. I keep these, they look okay. There are actually two layers of ply in here. And even though they're both very rotten, it does make it a little bit harder. I'm trying to get this top layer, which is the heavy one, but still screwed down in the middle there. So I'm hoping if I can take out this bottom layer, I'll just be able to pull down on the top one and it'll split. There we go. My thinking is, if I can push this one out, that way, slightly, then the roof will be free to come down. It should be nice and controlled. One thing you learn from working with chainsaws is to make sure you always have an escape route if you're dealing with something that might fall on you. So if this goes, I know I've got loads of room to jump back into. Wow, the whole thing at this point. There's one rafter at the end, which is still plugged in. If I can get that, I think this will pull out. If I hammer that in, it should go. It's just a tiny bit of ply caught on something. It's so stubborn. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Little tip for sledge hammering. You might have seen just there. Always making sure the arc is off to the side so I don't come straight down and smash it into my shins. Always off to the side. <sighs> like that. That's usable, that's usable. The original idea was to be pretty systematic about this. I had to get, a, kind of put that to one side, get the sledgehammer out and just get the roof off. But now I'm hoping I can be a bit more systematic again. I can see where the bolts are, these absolutely gigantic bolts that were holding it all together. And I can look to get these shelves off because these look absolutely fine and well worth recycling. I think they look like they're just screwed in, so. A slight split, but something still usable there, I think. Some of them are rotten. How are you still attached? What are you attached to? Is it there? It's there. There we go.
Whew. I think these might have been floorboards. At least I was able to save most of them. I am beyond feeling it. Um, it turns out it's a very, very warm day. Let's see what these are. Ah, oh, they're long. I need an extender. Unbelievably, the only extended one I own is a 13 and it fits. What are the chances of that? Oh, it's nice to be in the shade for a moment. Not that I'm complaining about it being too hot. I would never scratch that. I was feeling very lucky, but it turns out they just spin and spin. The other, I think it's a coach bolt. The other end is flat um, or like, you know, rounded off so you can't hold on to it. Um, and there's only one of me anyway, so <sighs> sledgehammer time, I guess. It's not gonna go. Those bolts are holding tough. Not really sure how I did it, but I gave this a, a few light taps with the sledgehammer, and then I thought, I'll try it again, and it works. It makes a really lovely noise. The next bolt on here, unfortunately, said no. So back to plan B, smashing it. I'm attacking this bit, because this looks like it's where something is holding. It's underground. I actually think this is mainly being held up by potentially just the ply and all the nails and the soil. Soil level is kind of uh, kind of three inches up that ply. We are making progress. There's the ply. All the ply has just gone now. So that might be it. There is still one bolt in the bottom, obviously. Okay, this is definitely proving to be a lot more of a mission than I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> I think it's fair to say I slightly underestimated this. Uh, we're, we're over halfway, which is good. Um, I did think this was gonna push down a, a little bit easier, you know, be literally a, a pushover. There have been a few challenges, and the main thing is that actually this ply, despite being completely waterlogged, is still really structural. It's still holding it all together. And even though, like I say, it feels like it's just rotting, once I get the sides down, it's loads more time to actually get these kind of uprights off the ply. Um, and it, it's taken a really long time. I've got two bolts here, which I absolutely cannot get through, but a fantastic news. My allotment friend, Elmo, arrived recently and he's just lent me his handsaw, so. This, I've got a wood blade and a metal blade. The wood blade is gonna be perfect for going down the ply and just chopping it up nice and simple, easier for burning. And the, the metal, if I need to, I can go through this bolt, I think. I might give that a go. Can I get on there? Yes, I think we'll try and go through the bolt first and then I can separate these. There we go, folks. This is pretty much mission accomplished for me. It's mosquito time. The mosquitoes have come out and 
I've got a few bites already, so I really want to get the bonfire going because that will keep the mosquitoes away nicely. I'm probably just going to have it here. I normally have it up the other end where I've got a little bit of a fire pit. I only tend to have one bonfire a year. I try not to, not to have fires if I can avoid it, but this has definitely got to be bonfired. And I'm probably going to do it just here, to be honest. There's a tree above me, so ah, mosquito bites. Um, I've got to be conscious of that. Keep it nice and small. I've got a lot more processing to do as the bonfire is going. What I was really interested to see was what is going on under this um, foundation. Oh, mosquito. Um, there is this, there's a really old sleeper here. Looks like, looks like it might be one of those concrete, like faux, faux wood sleepers actually, or it's just something really, really hard. Um, but all of the, the timber bearers, you know, under the, the floor itself, unsurprisingly, completely rotten. Um, the floor is probably the worst bit of the shed. Oh, massive spider. And yeah, sure enough, there's, there's nothing really to work with under here. It does look quite sandy. Um, I wonder what it looked like when he first built it. But I've got my work cut out on, on this foundation. I think I'm probably just going to... Mosquitoes. Going to get this bonfire going. What a freaking great day of progress. I'm feeling fantastic. I'm just itching to get this bonfire going, keep the mosquitoes off. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get this foundation done and the new shed built. Having And doing it at this time, like before winter, it's sort of not an ideal time in terms of, terms of like the workload. There's lots of other stuff to be doing on the plot, but this does mean I'm gonna have somewhere cozy for winter. I cannot, the one thing I'm most looking forward to is getting a little kettle that will live in the shed. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you ever so much for watching. An extra special thank you to all my Chili Pepper Tier patrons, Tony Bill, Pam, Mel, Michael, Socks, Angela, Dorcas or Louise, Andre and Brett. Hopefully I'll see you again next time for the next episode of The Shed Build. Right, it's fire time, it's fire time. There's so many. <laughs>